Hi guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about Doctor Who Series 13 aka The Flux. Uh, the trailer, what we got in it, all the new monsters and villains we've seen in the trailer, all that sort of stuff. We're just going to be talking about them, what I think of the new designs because I don't actually know what they're actually like on the thing. And a few other stuff that we got in the trailer aka seeing the Ood. Unexpected but great. Seeing the Cybermen, unexpected but amazing. But uh, yeah, a few things like that that we will be talking about. And also the Weeping Angels, thanking their back. I'm thank God that they're back. Because uh, they're brilliant. And uh, yeah, I just hope that we see more of them. And also the Sontarans, which is a big one. Because we know from uh, the latest... I'll just get it up. From the latest... Doctor Who magazine, I haven't opened it yet, but I, they were in here, so um, yeah, that's what I know from that, but uh, I already knew the Sontarans were coming back because of this magazine, and also if you've seen any of my recent videos, uh, you'll know, um, yeah, so we're just going to be talking about Series 13 trailer, and what I kind of thought of it from a point of me, and the monsters and villains we got, so, like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe. Let's get into the main video. So, the first villain that we saw popping up in the trailer, or, or aka just a general monster, was this kind of dog-like-esque creature. I don't know if you can tell, but this random guy, I, I don't really know who he is, or what this monster is, or whatever it is. It looks like a dog with a body. Um, like a human body. I have no idea what it is or what it is. I don't think it's going to be the Ravagers because he doesn't look that menacing. He obviously looks like a little puppy. Um, I don't know what, what this thing is. If anyone has an idea, pop it in the comment section down below. And um, yeah, I really don't know. Um, he looks kind of like a, a fur ball with a body. Um, <laughs> who knows? Yeah, um, I don't really have much to say on that because it's an old, like a, a new villain. I don't really know. Um, yeah, so that's quite uh, interesting. Um, but uh, if I just uh, go to the next new villain that I've spotted being in the trailer, which is probably a weirdest one I think I've seen so far. Um, he's literally this thing. It looks a little bit like Tim Shaw, but uh, not too much like Tim Shaw, so, you know. Uh, I'm guessing he's a Ravager, because this the creature's called the Ravagers, which was mentioned in uh, the uh, other trailer thing, or whatever. Yeah, so I wonder who the uh, Ravagers are, so, you know, it could be uh, any uh, number of things. But uh, he does look kind of menacing, and a little bit off-putting to look at, um... He looks a bit, um, vile, actually. Uh, but yeah, he does look interesting. I hope he's, like, one of those villains who's really menacing and evil and much more violent than things. He looks like, um, now I'm getting, like, deja vu. It looks like they've nicked the mask from Red Skull and, um, painted him purple. That's what it looks like at the moment, but I'm probably sure it wasn't, didn't look like that. He does have weird crystals sticking outside of his face, so, you know, who knows? I don't know what he is. I don't think we are likely to find out in a couple of weeks. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, moving on to another villain that uh, we... Uh, well, moving on to some new... That, that was the new villain section. Sorry about that. Moving on to the villain returns. Now, there are three villains... Oh, well, villain slash aliens, I don't really cast the Ood as a villain, but, you know, that's up to you. Um, well, actually, no, three. Three villains returning, sorry, I'm miscounting there. I forgot about the Weeping Angels. Yeah, so, uh, we're going to be going through the Ood first, because, why not? This is, like, the best alien race of all time. So, here we have an Ood, yeah, so this is, I'm guessing, uh, a new Ood. Um, I hope this Ood is, um... A bit like Ood Sigma, and is there to give warning and uh, thing. A bit like how Ood Sigma was in uh, Series 4, one of the 
best series of Doctor Who history ever. But uh, yeah, I hope he's a bit like that. You know, so I just hope that it's like that, to be honest. And uh, yeah, and I could also see the fact that loads of RTD stuff is popping up, such as uh, the I'll say yeah, the ooze because you know RTD is back soon. Anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm glad to see the Ood back, you know, which is quite good. I, I really like the Ood. Uh, great. Uh, moving swiftly on. Now, uh, moving on to the next monster, uh, or slash villain, we saw the Sontarans. Now, yeah, I do already know this from Doc Who magazine. Great. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the Sontaran does look absolutely amazing. And he tells it to look like a combination between classic and new so that's that's good that's good Chibnall you've done something that looks great but will it be great in the actual series we don't know wait until that two weeks time and we'll probably see so that's quite good um yeah but the weirdest thing is though the sometime was riding on a horse um why I I, I, I don't know I, I think I was just with the trailer it probably doesn't actually do that in the show but um why? <laughs> Why have a Sontaran riding on a horse? But, you know, up to you, I suppose. But this is supposed to be set, I believe, this story set in the Crimean War and modern day uh, as well, because that's where we get introduced with it to John Bishop's character as Dan. Uh, quite interesting. And, um, yeah, uh, moving on to a, another phone that I am excited to see back. Um, the Weeping Angels. Now, what I think about the Weeping Angels is just the fact that they are so blooming terrifying. The Weeping Angels, they're like, Blink is probably the best Weeping Angel story. Well, the first one is always, always kind of the best one, to be honest. But uh, I do like the fact that they finally did decide to bring the Weeping Angels back, because it has been a few years uh, since they were last seen. Actually, actually it's been, been even more than that, actually, now. I think the last time that we saw them was uh, way back in. Let me just go and research. Way back in, well, just found out, 2013 was the last time we saw them. Now, I thought we'd seen them much recently, but and then I think about it. Long time since Matt Smith left. It's been quite a long time. Well, no, that's going back a few years because I became a fan in 2014. A little bit of information there for you. But, um,. Yeah, uh, it's quite uh, interesting to see what Weeping Angel route they go down, and a long time no see, to be honest. I am just ecstatic to see them, and I hope they um, do very well. I really hope they get... Uh, well, I just hope that they get Stephen Moffat back to write this story. I don't know why, but I just have a feeling if they're written by Chibnall, then things could go a bit, you know, pear-shaped and be, be a bit... Terrible to be honest. I really hope they bring out Stephen Moffat just for this one story because it would make the story a little bit better and we can get some better writing under our belt for Jodie. Yeah, so that's what I just hoped for there. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, moving on because uh, that section is probably the most exciting bit ever. But uh, moving on to even more exciting. News the last section of the video, I believe, anyway. Um, yeah, so we did see a few Cybermen pop up. Now, this begs the question, are these Cybermen the... Oh, you can't even see that. It's like, it's like well, shiny. You can't even see that. It doesn't matter. It's like the site You can barely see it. I barely saw it, anyway. Um, yeah, these Cybermen are back, and um, I feel like these are the ones that were in series 12, doing towards the end of thing like Ascension of the Cybermen and the Timeless Children. Oh, sorry, I was, just, I was just thinking back to the Timeless Children, I'm thinking, what happened to canon? Don't matter, <laughs> don't matter about any of that now. But, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I think that uh, the Cybermen, they're great, they're great, because uh, I hope that, uh, what's it called, um, thingy goes back her. Uh, What's the guy's name? The uh, uh, Ashid, I think it is Ashid or Ashid or I, I can't remember. Yeah, I hope that guy's back because you know that'd be quite brilliant and that'd be a nice callback to 
series uh, 12 anyway, which is uh, series 11. But I hope that this series, series 13, my hopes anyway, my hopes for series 13 are that the fact it is much better than series 12 because some of that was absolutely terrible, such as the finale of Chibnall. But, um, yeah, uh, Chibnall has put out a statement saying that he would like to, well, but saying that this series is going to be the biggest series yet, supposedly, anyway. Uh, he's going to say he's going to start it with a finale story. Um, it's an interesting one, but I feel like you know, it's better to start you know, with a little bit of a quiet story, like how Series 4 does, which I keep on harkening back to, because what a great series. Bearing in mind, I would have been very, very little when this came out. <laughs> yeah, I uh, would have said that if you want to start a series, I would say do it, do it light, keep the audience engaged. But if you start with real high finale esque stakes, then I don't think that's well because that hasn't been earned from the uh, from starting the story in a slow spot. That's what I just personally think, Chibnall. But that's up to you. That's up to you, Chibs, Chibnall, whatever you want to call me. You, yeah, I suppose to say. Yeah, um, but I do have high hopes for you, Chibnall, and I hope that this goes well. And um, that's all my main thoughts, really, uh, on the series as a whole. But I hope he does utilise these villains well, better. Anyway, and these new creatures for the Ravagers, they look like something. They look terrifying, which is good because, you know, Doctor is supposed to be scary. Yeah, um, that's all I hope, anyway. Uh, they do look a bit like Tim Shaw, though, the kind of species, but, uh, um, yeah, I mean, they could be, yeah, who knows, but, um, yeah, what an interesting trailer, a bit of wacky, a weird dog man, uh, some random, some the ood, the ood popping up, you know, all sorts of random stuff, but yeah, um, I'm just excited for all this, uh, news, I don't know, anyway, it's exciting to see the series anyway. Just want to see how Chibnall's last series goes, and you know, hope he does a great job. He'd probably do better than I could, but you know, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And please like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to keep up to date with all my latest news, reviews, and all that sort of stuff we get up to on the channel. So, hope you all enjoyed the video, and good.